This next design comes from Ben. Starts off with a cockpit as usual. Uh, then he's managed to fit a parachute into his budget. Very generous of him. Then we've got next. So we've got. Oh, hang on. So then we've got um, the R32 coming in, which is a big one. So that's going to require a good old radius converter. And then he is going to use another one because he's having one of these engines on. I need to move the ship up. Oh boy, here we go. Uh, then there's a. Is this really in this budget? <laughs> Alright, here we go. So then he says there's um, a separator. So let's stick that there. Then he's got another an R16 and a poodle. So there's a poodle. There's a 16. God, we're gonna need we're gonna need more of these. And um, get rid of the sec. 16 poodle. That was it. Then a separator again. I'm gonna question the budget calculations here, Banks. It looks like an awful lot. <laughs> then another R32. And finally a skipper. This definitely looks like a monstrous one. I have to recalculate the accounts to prove to me there's not. Um I think Yeah, that's, that's about it for this, so let's see how this fares. You've got a lot of fuel on there, so it could go a long way. You got some nice staging going on as well, so we'll see how far it takes you. Alright. Big ship, waiting for it to load up. So here we go. Oh, just about balances, I think. Just about takes off. Well done. Oh, this is probably going to go a long way. There's so much fuel in this. And three engines, yeah, it's probably going to go a long, long way. But it's just travelling so slowly. The building is barely shrinking. There we can see the moon. There we've got the runway. We haven't done any plane design, but that's much harder than building rockets. So, let's try and get this up into space. Oh no, we used half the first tank. I'm going to try and speed up two times. Ooh, just about make it. Yeah. So 3,000 meters. Mm, still lots of fuel. I haven't got quite as far up yet though. I don't know if we're going to have difficulty. Oh, quick stage. Oh, yeah, that was fine. It was meant to happen anyway. So that was just um, when when this second engine ignited, it just sort of heated up. Uh, let's say <laughs> the previous bits that we chopped off. What we're seeing here is that our speed is actually decreasing because this engine here apparently does not have the requisite power to keep all of this fuel and all of the ship going up so you can see our altitude is really it's creeping to a halt. Are we are we going down again? Oh no we're going down we're losing altitude. Barely, but we're losing altitude. Oh no. Ben, a novice for the unit design, need the powerful engine. Oh well. It might it might burn enough fuel so that it's like not heavy enough anymore so it'll still work and again it might not so we'll have to wait and see essentially whether or not 5000 meters is enough for this ship to sort itself out maybe it'll yo-yo in terms of altitude we'll see but it looks like we're still just going faster and faster towards earth which is not a good thing. Oh, in fact, no, our, our speed's starting to decrease now. All right, so now, now we're at the point where we're starting to apply positive force to um, to the ship here. So our downward velocity is slowly decreasing. Hopefully, it'll turn to upward velocity before we hit the ground. We've only got 3,000 meters to do it in. <laughs> so. Uh, 
the space down here is apparently uh, oblivious to everything that's going around him. In fact, oh, we're about to run out of fuel on this one, so we're going to kick the next stage in a second. And there's our cube. Right. Oh, this is going much better. Yes, this is much more the correct direction. Come on. This part there is going to explode back on the um, on the launch pad, but this should hopefully make positive progress. Come on. We don't want to end up like that down there, do we? Still oblivious. Oh, look. Oh, yes. If you look at the top, we're about to start making altitude again. Hooray! So, our trip begins 1,200 meters up in the air. It was a, a long process to get here, but hey, we've done it now. We're going to go to times two speed to see if we can accelerate ourselves. Ah, oh, yes, progress is being made. And can we do even more? Oh, without it freaking out too much. Yeah, three times speed for the simulation. Good, so we're starting to make real progress now in terms of altitude. Get back down. <laughs> Those buildings. Ah, oh, we're going to surpass our height of 5,000 where we were before. You're going to go past 6,000. I bet 7 as well. Oh, this is excellent. Let's see, what does the map predict we're going to get to? 11? 12? 13? Easily. We've still got lots of fuel left in the ship. Let's see, we're starting to make... Oh, I'm really get away from it now. Alright. So, those first two stages that must have cost an hour and a leg have really only given us 1,200 meters altitude. It's this part here. It's been doing all 30 already. Wow. That's impressive. Go on, it must be... Oh, we're really starting to get going now. Here we are. Hundreds, 120, 130. God, it's starting to shrink below us. That's exciting. Those arms are just going to come blips on the map. Oh, already, already 100,000. Oh, my word. So I'm just going to slow the simulation back down to one. And you can see this is, should be increasing exponentially. It's getting further and further away. And, oh, that's us for fuel. So the engines have stopped now, and we're just going to fly, fly, fly away. Speed up the simulation. Those arms, you should see it start to rotate underneath us. So everything going uh, counterclockwise that way. There we go. Lovely. Oh, sorry, not that. What was our highest point? 1,800,000. That's pretty good. Not quite far enough to get to our moon. We need 11 million for that, but hey, that's all right. Cool, so now let's all plummet back to the Earth. Let's see if your little parachute is enough to keep your guys safe. He's incredibly happy at the moment. Little does he know he's about to enjoy gravity to its maximum potential. Still enjoying life. Now let's take off our um, stabilizer at the moment. Might even land by the coast, ready for a trip to the seaside. So because we're traveling so fast, 2,000... 800 meters per second, that is roughly nine times the speed of sound. Uh, the, the friction that's generated with an object moving this fast past just rubbing up against the air is what causes those re-entry effects. So the air is literally being frictioned so much that it's blown red with heat. Alright, so again, close to the ground again. Picked a fairly nice desert to land in. Just deploy the parachute for us. Oh, there we go. Got a nice oasis over there. Just going to speed up our final descent. And we just need to be careful that I think this might go pop and it might tip over. So, oh, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the tip's going to be awful. Oh, oh, it's fine. It's fine. The cockpit's there. That's all we want. There you go. We can roll around and we're all good. <laughs> so. There we go. Successful, Jay. Pretty successful landing. Well done, Ben.